Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coolum video. It's with a heavy heart that I must announce that after 70,000 miles in my Bolt EV, I have noticed battery degradation. So I guess we just have to throw the car away, right? Not quite. Let's talk about it. Stick around. Now before I get into exactly what level of battery degradation I appear to have found, I want to talk a little bit about my methodology for determining that the battery had degraded in the first place. I have Torque Pro installed. This is a third-party app that you can install on your phone and it will read through an OBD2 sensor and gather information and data from the Bolt EV and from the battery BMS, different software on the car. Now it does have a battery capacity estimator and I've seen a number of people referencing that when trying to account for how much battery capacity is available in their Bolt EV. Now I personally don't trust it and I do not consider it an accurate measuring tool because I've seen within a matter of months my battery capacity range from 57 kilowatt hours up to 59 kilowatt hours and not always a downward trend which battery degradation would be so I really don't trust it as a tool I think maybe it would provide a basic estimation but it's not something that I would want to quote in a video and say this is what I've noticed in terms of battery degradation now the methodology that I am using is based on a historical record of data and information I've gathered throughout the history of owning my car. And how I'm calculating it is based on the initial charge from 100% down to whatever my kilowatt hours used were displayed and then cross-referencing that with the battery percentage that's been displayed on the charger. Now in that regard, Torque Pro and the chargers tend to agree most of the time in terms of the battery percentage. So I do trust that it's a fairly accurate number when you see what your battery percentage is displayed on the DC fast charger. Now I have DC fast charged hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, but I'm really limiting my data set to the initial charge after a full charge to 100%. I might get into this in a different video, but I noticed that the capacity calculation when using Hilltop Reserve Mode, which preserves the top 12% of the battery, has been fairly consistent throughout the history of the vehicle, and it appears to be about 52.3 kilowatt hours of usable energy when you charge to full in Hilltop Reserve Mode. Okay, so the part that you're probably most interested in is what is the actual battery degradation that I've calculated based on my methodology and data set? Well, it appears that after over 70,000 miles in my Bolt EV, I now have a usable battery capacity of about 55.5 kilowatt hours. Now, I say about because even still with these calculations, I notice a fluctuation of about one kilowatt hour from session to session to session. So I'm really sort of averaging out the capacity that I've seen over a short period of time. And what does 55.5 kilowatt hours of usable battery capacity equal? Well, it equals about 92% of the original 60 kilowatt hours of usable battery capacity. So in about 73,000 miles, I've lost about 8% of my battery capacity. 
Now I want to talk about some of the factors that might have led to this potential battery degradation and what maybe you as another Bolt EV or prospective Bolt EV owner can expect. And I even want to talk a little bit about is it possible that not all of that is battery degradation? Now the reason I say that it might not all be battery degradation is in May of this year, GM had issued a recall and software update and part of what they were doing was reprogramming the battery monitoring system and that BMS software update changed a number of things including how it estimates its range and the good thing of tracking this data historically is I noticed that I lost about two kilowatt hours of estimated usable capacity immediately following that software update. Now that could mean a number of things. One, it's possible that GM improved the accuracy of the BMS, and we've seen this with the 30 kilowatt hour LEAF from Nissan, where they had to reprogram the BMS because it made it appear as though the 30 kilowatt hour LEAF battery was degrading faster than it actually was. So it could simply have been a correction and now we have a more accurate picture. There's also another possibility though. It's possible that GM built in an additional buffer. And what I mean by that is, with any sort of battery, you have a usable capacity that might be less than the total gross capacity of the battery. And typically why that's done is with lithium batteries, you can damage the batteries irreparably if you drop below a certain percentage or charge to over a certain percentage. So there's already a window of available capacity that's programmed into these batteries. If GM wanted to lock away a portion of this battery to preserve additional capacity, they could do so through software. And it's possible that they took about two kilowatt hours of battery capacity away. And this would explain why after that software update, I saw significantly different and more conservative numbers than I saw previous to that software update. Now, depending on your perspective, you could look at that as a good thing or a bad thing but it does mean that the actual degradation of my battery might not have been 8% after 73,000 miles. It might have only been 5 to 6%. So that is also a consideration. So a question you might be asking yourself is, will you see similar battery degradation in your Bolt EV? Or if you decide to buy a Bolt EV, would you see similar battery degradation? or possibly if you buy a competing electric vehicle from another manufacturer? Well, the answer is more than likely yes, but it will depend on your individual use case. Now, part of why I got my Bolt EV is to share with the community my experiences. And part of that requires that I push it to a limit maybe a little bit more excessive than the average Bolt EV owner would do. I actually use the complete spectrum of my battery a lot more frequently than the average Bolt EV driver might. I mean, after all, I have driven over 73,000 miles in my Bolt EV in less than two years. That being said, lithium batteries will degrade faster the more of the battery spectrum that you use. By charging to 100% often, it means that my battery is going to degrade faster than someone who only charges to 90% or 80% or 70% on a regular basis. And because I'm often pulling into chargers with less than 5% battery, again, it means that my battery will degrade faster than someone who pulls into chargers with 20 to 25 to 30% battery capacity. So keep that in mind, it really is based on your use case, how quickly you will see batteries degrade. Now another area that we still can't speak with authority about is the possible implications of DC fast charging. 
I have literally logged hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of DC fast charging sessions in my Bolt EV on chargers ranging from 20 kilowatts up to that recent 200 kilowatt charger at the Recargo Prunedale site. Now, of course, the Bolt EV is limited to a max charging rate of 55 kilowatts, which is close to a 1C charging rate or charging the battery from zero to 100% in one hour. However, even though that's a very conservative charging rate, it could still add additional wear on the battery. So if you're someone who does not take frequent long trips where you're frequently DC fast charging, again, you might see much less battery degradation over the life of your Bolt EV than I've seen in the first 73,000 miles of my ownership. So regardless though of what might have caused my battery degradation and whether my use case makes my battery degrade faster or not, it appears that I've lost 8% of my battery capacity. And so the question really is, does that actually matter? And I would argue that it does not. Because remember, even though I've recently calculated my battery capacity loss at about 8%, it's roughly the same available battery capacity as it was when I drove from Los Angeles to the north rim of the Grand Canyon down to Zion National Park and back again on a single two-day weekend. So even having 8% battery degradation, it really doesn't actually change that much about my experience with the Bolt EV. And there are several reasons for that. The Bolt EV's charging curve on DC fast chargers is also fairly conservative, where you have your first step down in charge rate at about 51 to 55% battery. But the thing is, based on my observations, it's measuring that 51 to 55% battery capacity based on the original 60 kilowatt hours. So what you're getting is 50 to 55% of 60 kilowatt hours, regardless of whether your total battery capacity is only 55 kilowatt hours. So for longer trips, as it stands, you really should be planning on making 100 to 120 mile legs between DC fast chargers and no more than that anyway. And since the battery degradation doesn't appear to change that, until the battery degrades more than 30%, you're not actually going to notice that much of a difference on your longer trips. The only area where it really plays a factor is if you're trying to make one initial long leg and you need as much battery capacity as you can possibly get. You're losing about 15 to 20 miles of real world range. So it's not actually a huge deal. But I will say that based on my experiences, I would recommend that any current Bolt EV owner or new Bolt EV owner do some things to mitigate any potential battery degradation that they might see. So if you own a 2018 Bolt EV or earlier, I would recommend that you use Hilltop Reserve mode all of the time. Again, this preserves the top 12% of your battery capacity. And one of the key side benefits of using Hilltop Reserve mode is you get consistent regenerative braking with 100% of your regenerative braking and one pedal driving available at all time. Now, if you own a 2019 Bolt EV, GM's replaced the Hilltop Reserve mode with a charge termination mode. Now, they say that's for saving money on power, but that's not really what I would be using it for. I would be using it to, again, preserve battery life and maximize your regenerative braking. Now, charge termination mode allows you to select in 5% increments between 40% and 100% how much you want your battery to charge up to. My recommendation is in regular driving to never go above 95%. And if you can and still make your commute comfortably, try to keep it somewhere between 70% and 80% battery usage for your regular daily driving. 
And again, remember, if you go too far in your battery charge, that also starts to wear out the battery faster. So you're really looking to maintain a window of somewhere between 40% and 80% spectrum of your available battery usage. If you do that, I'm pretty sure you're going to see significantly less battery degradation over time than I've seen thus far. Now I'd love to hear from my fellow Bolt EV owners, what are your experiences with battery degradation? Perhaps you don't own a Bolt EV, but you own a different electric vehicle. Uh, maybe what you've seen in terms of battery degradation over the life of the vehicle. I'd be really interested to hear that. The Bolt EV would be very useful in that it would be nice to see some of these other high mileage Bolt EVs sort of do a compare and contrast with me in regards to how much battery degradation we're seeing and maybe sort of juxtaposing our use cases versus the battery degradation we've seen, maybe climate, maybe region, and see from there if we can paint maybe a more clear picture of what future Bolt EV owners can expect from their vehicles. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And uh, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.